For the captain of the Ajuan super yacht, polishing, waxing, and wiping are all in a day's work. Work that he does with a commitment, meticulous attention to detail, and a lot of passion. If you're a captain, you should know everything about the boat, about the yacht. This is like your wife, you know. <laughs> it's more than uh, taking care of your wife, this boat. The Ajuan and her sister super yacht Golfcraft's Majesty 135 are the stars of the third edition of the Qatar International Boat Show. At 41 meters, the $16.5 million floating palace is the biggest super yacht docked here. And some of the world's coolest boats are also on display. 120 manufacturers and dealers are exhibiting their latest boats, jet skis, gadgets and gizmos for enthusiasts. Being here in this show is actually giving access to us, to our existing clientele, but also continuing to show what we are up to these days. And uh, actually, as a semi-custom builder, we need customer feedback to be able to grow the company and to develop new models. More than 15,000 people from 54 countries are expected to attend. Last year's show generated nearly $30 million in sales. But the global decline in oil prices has had an impact on Gulf economies. Some states have told citizens their governments may not be able to subsidize certain services. The organizers of this show say middle class families in Qatar have high purchasing power despite low oil prices. There was a lot of hype around Qatar. So we came back to the government, we started talking to them, we presented to them what, what we have as a vision on a mission for the show and how we're going to brand Qatar and place it as on a map around the international shows. Organizers say this region is one of the biggest markets for luxury yachts. It's also a hub for the production of world-class boats. And as global oil prices continue to fall, sales of luxurious yachts continue to go up. Manufacturers are banking not only on sales during this show, but also on making the right contacts for lucrative sales in the coming months. Paul Chadurjian, Al Jazeera, Murjan Marina's Dauha.